Hello and welcome to Mofo RC Garage. Today, a little product overview. One or two things on this deadbolt. This one's completely bone stock. First thing you'll notice, bone stock bouncy. Not bouncy. Still, all the flex, including way more than stock. That's it for stock right there. This is the new oil shocks, as well as a set of aluminum flex blade XRs, which are the highest travel flex blades that I have. They are the newest, greatest thing in flex blade technology. They still can be flipped upside down if you really want some gnarly flex, but going from stock to that is, uh, that's enough, that's more than enough. And those new oil shocks, no more bouncy bouncy. Now, what I did when I installed these oil shocks, um, I did just put like two or three drops of what I had laying around here. This is some Traxxas silicone shock oil. Uh, I put two or three, I think it was two drops in each one. And there you can see the little flex blade XR down there, if it ever focuses. <clears throat> There's a shock that is mounted in the stock mounting location, both front and rear with the flex blade XRs. Also, this beauty of a new motor here, this I do not quite have in stock. I have 28 of these. I took one apart, I'm keeping one for myself. I have 28 at the moment. I might go ahead and post them up and just sell them. Um, I will be ordering a lot more of them. Uh, that will be just the, the Torque Beast 2 or Torque Beast version 2 or something. Here's the original Torque Beast motor. You can see the difference of the color. Uh, this is actually an electro-plated black chrome on this new can, and it is a completely different motor on the inside. Uh, this one had solid carbon brushes, which worked really, you know, good enough for anything, worked really well. They do tend to run kind of hot, so I went with the carbon copper alloy brushes. Uh, about, actually, I think they're a little bit bigger than um, the original ones. Let me see if I can figure out where I put that thing at. Here it is. All right, so here's the inside here where the brushes are. Those are copper and carbon alloy mixed together. Very large, especially when compared to stock where stock is just a metal tang hanging out there. These should last a really long time. Here's the armature. Um, <clears throat> I went ahead and unwound one just to count physically the windings on them. I usually tell them what specifications I want and then I always double check them whenever I get them. Uh, the windings and armature on this one, the armature is about the same. <clears throat> the old windings I think were a 67 or 68 or 65. I'd have to go back and look at what I, what I had spec'd out last time. They were a little bit slower than stock. So this time I went with a 56 turn winding. Uh, it's actually a little bit faster than stock and still crawls amazingly. So um, <clears throat> that new Torque Beast motor also has laser scribed on it, Torque Beast. And you can see that little thing down the middle there. That is actually a rubber band. Um, I have them put them on there. I also have the wires soldered on sideways so that they are not uh, interfering with things and sticking out the back real far. So I have been doing this by hand for a really long time. I finally got one manufactured where they were actually able to manufacture in the correct way that I wanted, where they stick out to the side here. This would be the side you have sticking out. This side goes towards your motor. You leave the rubber band on there. You don't have to take it off. Bend this up around your transmission. Get it to where it needs to go. Uh, <clears throat> one really neat little thing about these new Torque Beasts as well. Here is the old Torque Beast. There's the new one. Do you see the bolt pattern difference? 
I had the new ones made with the 030 bolt pattern. So they will mount directly to your stock aluminum plate. Um, I did that. I also have these brand new aluminum adjustable motor plates, which uh, if you order a boosted version of this with a bigger gear, you'll get one of these. Uh, or you'll you know be prompted to buy one or you'll get one of the 3d printed plastic ones that I give away for free with them but uh, otherwise that'll bolt right to the stock SCX 24 motor mount you won't have to change anything <clears throat> uh, these motors have tons of power and very good low speed uh, control let's see if I can kind of show you here I'll try to do this while holding the camera They will go extremely slow. They will also crawl very well. And if you have the Flex Blade XRs and these awesome new oil filled shocks, you will also get a lot of flex like that. And when you want to go fast, you can go fast and have tons of power. So, that's that. That's the new Torque Beast or Torque Beast 2 uh, 050 size can. Um, probably the, well, second most powerful 050 size can you can buy that I know of. The first most powerful one being that one. The Buzzsaw. Looks a lot like the Torque Beast. The shaft is a little bit longer. Whenever I sell these, I actually cut the shaft down to make them the same length. Um, usually I'll mark it if you buy more than one. If you buy a buzzsaw and a torque beast, I'll usually mark one of them so you know which one's which. But uh, the torque beast, probably the most powerful 050 motor made, um, maybe ever made, I don't know. Uh, it is like a 34 turn windings in that sucker. So I mean, just holy moly, 42,000 some odd RPM. Uh, this one here is right at about 27,000 RPM, I think. Um, the Torque Beast 30 is about 26, 25, somewhere around there. Stock motor is about 25, 26. So if you really want big, big power, buzzsaw. Um, if you want a really great crawling motor, all around, Torque Beast 50 standard gear. If you want it to go about the speed of stock, Torque Beast 50, 14 tooth boosted. If you want Oh man, the best that I've had made yet, this new one, which uh, I'm not going to have a whole lot of stock at the moment, but I will be, I will be ordering a whole lot of these. And so uh, I, before I ordered a bunch of them, I wanted to get some samples in and test them, make sure everything was right. Um, <clears throat> and they will come with the, the brass gear pressed on. All three of these come with the brass gear pressed on already. I do that myself here in house. So... Uh, oil filled shocks, very nice, very smooth, not floppy junky like this one. They actually absorb shock. You know, I don't know if you can imagine that concept after owning the SCX24 for so long. A shock that actually, actually absorbs shock. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and, uh, Hope to see your name on my order form soon. Thank you and good night. Okay, so I changed my mind. I changed my mind and we have one more test. This is the Mofo RC 3S 450 milliamp battery. I just went ahead and charged that up. Uh, it's about eh, probably halfway charged, but we'll go ahead and just try it anyways. So I wanted to see if this will, or how it will rather, because I'm 99% sure it will handle it just fine, how it will handle some 3S power. Let's see if I can get one of these little clips in while I'm trying to do this one-handed here. There's almost nothing worse. Than trying to put a body clip in a deadbolt. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we still have our. Uh, let's see here. Oh, turn that down here. Alright. So 
still have our low speed when you need it. And now, let's see if and how much faster this thing goes. Try to do this one hand. All right. <laughs> Sorry, it went flying. Oh yeah, it works. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, by the way, the stock SCX24 ESC, for whatever reason, does handle 3S. And I just so happen to sell them. So, if you want to go really fast, there's an option for it. Thank you again and good night.